Epic Crafters, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to turn a serial box into an amazing Luke Skywalker lightsaber. Let's make an epic cardboard prop. Hey, I'm Raphael. I used to work in the film industry as a professional steady cam operator until I discovered that I could make pretty much any of the movie props that I love using pretty much only that. <laughs> In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make Luke Skywalker from Star Wars The Return of the Jedi using only cardboard, modeling paste, and some acrylic pens. Do it! Of course, you'll find the complete list of everything I use in the description box below, as well as all templates necessary for you to make this impressive lightsaber yourself at home. Now, without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first thing to do is cutting out the templates that you find in my shop in the description box below and glue all of them on your cardboard. As I said before, you can use serial boxes, but also tissue boxes, basically any cardboard that is about 1mm thick. And cut the pieces using a precision knife, a box cutter, a very sharp scissor. And of course, you'll have to do that for all the following pieces of this tutorial. First, cut the piece number one and make it curvy in this direction. To do so, don't hesitate to help yourself with something round, like a glue stick or a large marker, and glue these two edges together. To do so, I used a cheap 15 watt hot glue gun that I bought from Amazon. You should end up with a nice cylinder like that. And next, cut the pieces number 2 and 3, the same way I make them both curvy. Glue the piece number 2 on the piece number 1 flush with this edge here and remove what exceeds. The same way glue the piece number 3 on the piece number 1 here at about 1 cm from this edge. And again remove what exceeds. The same way glue the piece number 4 on the piece number 2 flush with this edge, the number 5 here flush with this edge and two pieces number 6 on top of each other flush with this edge here. Then cut two pieces number 7 and use them to close the two openings on each side. And next, cut three pieces number eight and glue them on top of each other using white glue or any type of PVA glue. Then cut three pieces number seven, glue two of them on top of each other, flip it and glue the third one on the opposite side so that you end up with the patterns on both sides, which is going very important in the following step. And repeat this exact process nine times so that you end up with nine elements number eight and nine elements number seven and glue all of them on top of each other alternating the elements eight and seven to do so pay attention to glue the elements eight inside the red circles on the pieces number seven here Next, cut the pieces number 9 to 19, all from the same thin uncorrugated cardboard, except for the pieces number 9, 12, 13, 15, and 18, that you'll have to cut from a regular corrugated 2mm cardboard, like Amazon boxes for instance. And the same way, glue all numbers on top of each other. And glue these 11 elements on top of each other following the number order. and cover all corrugated cardboard elements with thin stripes of uncorrugated cardboard. Now we can glue the three elements together. And if like me, the tip of it ends up to be a little bit wobbly, just pour some white glue in every angle and remove the excess. That should be enough to make it much sturdier. Question of the day, would you like me to make more lightsabers from Star Wars? And if yes, which ones? Let me know in the comment section below. And next, cut the piece 20, with your fingers bend the red lines, and close the notches with glue. Glue it on your lightsaber over here, glue two pieces 21 on the sides, still from that same serial boxes type of cardboard, cut a very thin stripes, and glue all of them in the middle right here. And glue two more long ones on the sides here. Next, cut 6 pieces 23, bend the red lines, and close the notches with glue. On one of them, make two notches on each side, glue it on the piece number 4 aligned with the remote, and that way, glue another one on the opposite side, and the other four, each side at equal distance from each other. Next, make a mix of white glue and water. Next, cut a stripe from regular printer paper sheet that is about 5 cm wide. Roll it tightly with your fingers and soak it in the mix of white glue and water. Then bend the two tips of it that way, make another one exactly the same way and glue them both together that way. And glue the two other tips together inside the holes of the piece number 23. Next, cut five small rectangular pieces like that, glue them on top of each other. 
make two like that and glue them on the right side of the remote right here. And the same way, make two small triangles and glue them here. Also, make several holes in the back of her hair. So to get rid of all the cardboard imperfections, we're going to apply a thin layer of a modeling pass to smooth out all surfaces. To do so, I used this paste from Liquitex as it has a great consistency for that kind of job. And of course, I put the link to it in the description box below as well. But if you don't have a filler paste or don't want to buy some, I recommend you to watch this video right here in the car or in the description box below where I show you how to make the dark saber but using paper instead of the modeling pass to smooth it out. Of course, it is a different build, but the paper techniques remain the same anyway. Or simply just watch one of my older tutorials as I used to cover all of my props with paper not so long ago, as you can see in the background. So we're going to apply this filler on the entire lightsaber. To do so, use a brush like that to spread the pass more efficiently. Also, don't hesitate to add a little bit of water to your brush that will help you to apply it in the narrowest areas and to smooth out the paste of a hole, which will make your life easier when sending it out later. Then, sand all surfaces with sandpaper. Here again, don't hesitate to add some water on the surface that will melt down the paste a little bit, which will make the sanding easier. Now it's time to paint it. We're going to start to paint this area with a glossy black. But to do so, we're going to protect these two areas first. Start by applying masking tape on this edge here. Don't forget that you'll find this masking tape and all of the products I use in this video in the description box below. Apply a larger one underneath and tape on it a protection. I used a plastic bag like that, but you can use paper or anything you want. And of course, do the same for the other side. To paint it, I'm going to use this high gloss black from Motip. Once dry, remove the protection and the same way, protect the bottom part of the lightsaber from this angle. To paint the rest of the lightsaber, I'm going to use these five paints from Valero. First, apply the Leton color in this middle part here. To do so, I use an airbrush because I have one, but feel free to use a simple brush if you need to. You will get a very similar result anyway. Next, color the different parts of the remote. To color one of the triangles in green, I made a mix of blue and yellow. Color the second triangle in red the two large buttons in the back with a matte black, as well as the notches on the top of the remote. And paint the stripes with the same Leton paint you used to paint the top element. And once dry, protect all the painted areas and paint the rest of the lightsaber with a chrome paint. In this video, I'm going to use this chrome paint from Stardust, which gives the most impressive mirror effect I ever seen. That being said, it is a little bit expensive. So if you don't want to spend too much on the painting job, you can use this chrome paint from Genelite. I actually used that one to paint some part of my Bocator helmet, which didn't require for them to be shiny or to have a mirror effect. Of course, you won't get a mirror effect as good as the Stardust one, but it's a very good option if you don't want to paint too much on the, on the painting job. And of course, I put the links for both of this paint in the description box below as well. and also the edges of each circle of the middle piece here. Then, using a thick cardboard, cut two pieces 24, glue them on the edges here. From the same cardboard, cut the piece 25, glue it on the top of the 24 here, and the reversed 25 on the other side over here. Pour some glue in the two openings, and put in them the two pieces 26. And the same way you did for the lightsaber, cover it with a modeling past, smooth out the surface with sandpaper, and paint it with a matte black paint. What do you think about it? I'm so happy with how it turned out. Click this video right here and I will show you how to make the dark saber from the Mandalorian using only cardboard and paper. And of course, subscribe if you think I deserved it and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next epic build with cardboard. Thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next one. Let's make an epic power... An epic power pop? Okay, <laughs> so I think we're done.